and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some action ribbon. Starting off the day with uh, our first action deck. We got four action donation decks to do today. In fact, it's donation deck week. Last week, we had a rank up week where we tried to qualify for the seasonal tournament. Fell just a little short. But, you know, we went all the way through diamond into master's rank and almost got there. We were we had enough LP for a little bit, but we had a real rough very last day, um, and that knocked us down. So we didn't get to qualify for the seasonal tournament. But hopefully everybody, like everybody that did play in it on Saturday, hopefully y'all had a good time. Hopefully some of y'all made the top 32. Uh, <clears throat> but um, let's get to some donation decks now, because now we've been um, been kind of stocking up on our donation decks. And we've gotten four different unique and uh, very cool looking action decks to play. And that's what we're going to have for today. Should be a lot of fun. Um, also, I've uh, been, you know, uh, have we have a cosmetics goal for, for just like the new cosmetics. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, if you'd like to donate and see any specific deck played, just a 10... $10 or more on any donation, I will be playing your deck. Just send me the code or ask me to build the deck. Um, you know, and we're trying to, to get that goal for paying for just the different cosmetics in this game. And we're, we're doing pretty good. All right. But anyway, let's get to it. Um, action Riven. This one's going to be combining action with Riven because of the different Reforge tokens. Each one of these is going to be good ways to target your own allies. And of course, action wants you to be targeting your own allies for your uh, Warlord's Palace countdowns and, of course, Warlord's Horde countdowns. Uh, other cool things we're going to be doing in this is we're going to have, uh, sorry, Preservarium, Hourglass, the Roiling Sands, of course, your Warlord's Palace. So these are different landmarks that we're talking about. Inner Sanctum, Unraveled Earth, Vagabond. And so with those different landmarks counting down, we're going to have uh, two copies of Herald of the Magus that can give both Riven and Action plus two plus two and Overwhelm. We're also going to have some different um, reputation synergies with, uh, we have a lot of three power things, Riven, Runeweaver, Rockhopper, these things have three power, but then we can give them plus two plus zero with the uh, with the Blade Fragment that gives plus two plus zero, and then also like Ruthless Predator, Absolver, Weapon Hilt, right? So we can get to five power with a lot of this stuff. And so if we get to five power, we can get to uh, have Reputation for the Inner Sanctum to make that thing cost zero. We can have Bloody Business Strike with when it's five power. <clears throat> and then we're also going to have Lucky Finds, Profiteer, uh, Bruiser, right? So we'll have different Lucky Find synergies to be able to keep buff it up our champions, buff up Riven, buff up Action, and keep those targets coming. All right, well, let's get to it. Let's try it out. Let's play some Action Riven first of... Uh, four different action decks. They're all all a little unique. They're all a little different. And they all have some different cool synergies. We're playing them on over in ranked. Alright, so we're definitely keeping Riven. We're playing against Draven Scion. Whirling Death is going to be pretty nice against Draven Scion. And obviously, and honestly, so is Siphoning Strike. We'll get rid of the Absolver. But I think we're going to want these different removal spells. The Ruthless Predator could be good if we get the Quick Attack Blade. Join the hunters, they say. All right, so I'm considering Ruthless Predator on the Blade Squire to challenge Draven. Considering that, if I do the the one problem with that, if I do that, then we have four mana, so then we don't get to Siphoning Strike next round, and I kind of want a Siphoning Strike next round. Maybe we just pass. Maybe keep this, keep you know, have the quick attack before we do that, and have the two one hold back the three one. Yeah, so that's what I was kind of expecting this line from them <clears throat> with that 4 3. I hope they don't have survival skills. They'd have to have um, the zero mana card also. Alright, good. You know, zero mana discard outlet. But I don't really want to have, I don't really want them to be able to challenge my Riven. 
put it down to two health, and then they get, you know, Mystic Shots and get excited to kill it. And we have to worry about that. Ooh. Man, I really hope they don't have Scorched Earth. Hourglass is good. But, uh, let's see. Flock. Alright, so we waste our lucky finds, unfortunately. Use a lot of resources. Do I have to? Hmm. to really carry this ribbon. We're really going to need you to carry. Yeah, Thrall's deck's good for, for climbing. So they can level up Scion. It's 31 out of 35. They can play Spinning Axe, discard Twin Blade Revenant, and that's discarding 4, and it's leveled up. So like, if I try to kill it, before leveling up, they can. I think I do anything else. Yeah, it looks like that's what they're gonna do. Oh, they just had another lost one here. <clears throat> so that puts them down to twelve. I'm going over here so that with these two challenges, like they're only gonna have a, a one health thing. Yeah, you know, like they'll they'll all have one health. So if they have any remove if I attack, we lose to any removal spell. Or I can Preservarium, and 
I don't know, look for something. I kind of think we have to draw it. That at least saves me from Mystic Shot. Just Mystic Shot. Oh. They have the two. Close game. We really didn't have that good of a hand, right? We only had uh, just Riven with nothing else, and we still almost won. Like, we almost won with having just Riven and nothing else. Oh man, that would have been a great time for Ride of Negation. Yeah, I don't think we have Ride of Negation in our deck. No, we don't. But that would have been a crazy Ride of Negation. Alright, we'll keep the Rock Hopper. Send the rest back. We're playing against something. Two drops basically just trade with each other. Playing the ribbon while we have the attack token. Okay, so the two drops just trade with each other, and we have a Riven. So not bad. Counterfeit copies. They're gonna be like the, that two drop. Oh no. Okay, they're they're a Loof Traveler's deck. Okay, okay. So they want me to kill the Loof Travelers, and they can like miss call, bring it back. Yeah, they want to die so they can miss call. Alright, two out of four for the Center Sanctum. It should be like a harrowing deck also, right? Like with all these aloofs. You know, aloof harrowing. So, don't love killing aloofs. You dropped something. I dropped everything! It's just pretty rough, because if we, 
we kill them all, then they get to bring them back, you know, with harrowing. They're just in a good spot. Like, no matter what we do is good for them. Yeah, Dark Fortress says I hate aloof more than pretty much anything else in the game. Yeah, I can under understandable because it, we are in quite a rough spot here. I guess we'll go ahead and kill him, though. I guess. Herald would have been so good. That's how it is. Alright, that worked out kind of well of finding an, an, another action. Very good, because we want to you know get this Warlord's Horde countdown going. Man, the Magus is our, is the best card. But it's you know definitely weak to another aloof. Please let me play my mages. Please let me play Harold. Should be harrowing. Yeah. So we get four aloofs, so we're gonna have four new cards. I think 8 is safe. Then again, maybe just blocking is safe also. No looking back. I guess I don't want two get excited and a mystic shot killing me. We not get the we don't get the warlord's horde after for this I want another warlord's horde countdown
So I knew this. So so action can strike. Because whenever it strikes, we get another Warlord Horde. Alright, let's get some buffs. Uh, I guess Challenger. Already has the other two. Plus two, plus zero. Get this overwhelm also. Alright, cool. And there we go. And that's what our deck can do. That's pretty cool. Like, how many, like, with all these blade fragments and everything, we can really shuffle through these Warlords' Hordes quickly. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, I think we're gonna draw two just, just kind of see what we got. Alright, Bandle City, Piltover, and Zon. Could be a lot of creative cards, could be Curious Shell Folk deck. We're going to send you back to start with, and I think we'll just keep the rest. I could see sending the Ruthless Predator back also, though. Yeah, maybe look for something that can protect action, but yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, and all that stuff that we did, we did all that stuff, and that was all, like, burst speed. So, like, we are still open attacking, quote-unquote open attacking, yet we still got to do all that stuff. To know good from bad. This so they don't keep Ruthless Predator and I Ruthless Predator the action to challenge something and then they just like Mystic Shot action. With them being a PNC deck. This requires my largest official hand. Tough choice, whether to Profiteer or Vagabond. I guess we could have, because I like the, the advanced two rounds, but I guess we could maybe even just create a new Warlord's Palace with the Vagabond. They told me to keep this one, but I like you. All right, Grant Challenger. So we can kill one of these mares. From all the regions we are one. All right, tough or spell shield? By the emperor. For the lost. Yeah, that's nice. Did Bandle City Mayor? Man, Bandle City Mayor creates loping telescope that's zero mana, that then creates something else. Kingpin. Yeah, that's it. Not bad. I get the guards, Bob gets the goods. Strike in there, right? Are you living? Hmm. Wonder how much this is worth. Go over here. All right, let's get another Warlord's Palace in play first. I'm planning on turning on the reputation this round. Or, I mean, that would be that would require attack with the, let's see. Because, yeah, we quick attack that one. Uh, they probably just found a removal spell, you'd think. 
I'm, I'm considering getting the 5-2 and attacking with the sandstone charger being a 5-2 instead of... Oh, this is already... This is at 2 out of 4. Instead of drawing a card. I assume they have a removal spell for the 5-1. Wow, they don't? That's good. Okay, you're only one out of four right now. It's gonna get overwhelmed later. Whenever we get the blade. What wondrous discoveries await below? Spell shield. Obviously, that overwhelm that I just gave doesn't matter. So they put two flash bombs in the deck, but now we get to predict, and so we get to shuffle those away. Yeah, they want. They need room to play stuff anyway. No looking back. Oh, yeah. Kinda helping them out a little bit there. Oh no, I should take Unraveled Earth for this. I was thinking the Preservarium for that, but Unraveled Earth would have been better. Yeah, I should have taken Unraveled Earth for that. Are they gonna have like double Mystic Shot? To stop this thing? Because of the Lucky Find, I'd rather use the Bruiser than the Riven. The Riven is... safer. We gotta just go with the safer one. Well, at least they had one Mr. Sean. Does 
I could definitely see them mini morphing the Riven right here, blocking with the 3 3. I could definitely see them mini morphing, but. It's so like maybe I just. Maybe I should just let this happen as is. I could go for lethal with the weapon hilt, but then they mini morph. I should just let this happen. Because they did. Oh, I guess fearsome. Look at it sparkle. You know, they did just take out the spell shield last round, maybe for a reason. It's po possibly. I thought I shuffled those away. I guess I shuffled one at the top. It would have been, yeah. I would have had to use both of them for it to be lethal with the spell shield, but again, they could still mini morph the other one. I was hoping they didn't do that, but... Alright, we need to find... We need to find another spell shield. Those are not spell shield. So I can make another Blade of the Exile and give Riven another Blade of the Exile. But it's really all about like making sure I find Spell Shield, basically. But say I had to like pop Spell Shield and Mini Morph next round. Both. If we find Spell Shield, that is. Spell shield. Yes. Okay. Well. Violence and violence. Yeah. I guess I, guess I could have done this to challenge one of the one ones, but. They have some way to get out, you know, like, they're gonna need some way to get out of it anyway. Alright, so we are two and one. Thank you, Spell Shield. Okay, yeah, you played some Soothsayer in Riven action. Just to make sure you get Spell Shield, I could see that. It's just that specific matchup with the Mini Morph that I'm scared of. I definitely wanted it. Um, we're gonna send back Siphoning Strike and maybe even send back Profiteer. We want to have a really low curve. For sure, against Teemo, Caitlyn. So we just get another four and a five. Right back, sounds about right. <laughs> Reporting in. Good people go 
don't look the other way. Hello. You never know what hit him. More mushrooms. Maybe a ruthless predator? Taking it. There they go. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Why are you letting me down, Shape Stone? Why aren't you plus three, plus one still? All right, so I can shape stone plus bloody business, but then if they have anything to interact with that, that's kind of bad for me. Because then we just waste our bloody business. I didn't play the Blade Squire, so I'm gonna have three mana for Whirling Death still. And another Peddler. Oh, uh, that's bad. So they're gonna try to have me draw a Flash Bomb to kill the 3 1. Alright, so this allows me to predict, which shuffles away those two flash bombs. I want removal, but action also getting the Warlord's Palace could be really nice. So next round we're going to have seven mana. No, six mana? Five, six. Yeah, so we play like action plus bloody business. So, like we're planning on bloody business, trying to kill Teemo with that. And then we have two extra mana, so action would be the other two mana. So kept this thing with the spell shield, so like whenever we bloody business, they can't just like one frostbite spell doesn't save them. bad either. Examining the evidence. I aim to win and I kind of assume that goes through spell shield and doesn't pop spell shield. Yeah, because it's not a spell or a skill. 
So close to getting that thing so we can get the plus two, plus two, and spell shield with the action. But we just can't. I think I kind of am relying on this bruiser. Alright, going. I think Whirling Death is my plan. Bruiser, Whirling Death. Not a perfect plan. Hello there. But I don't think I'm surviving another turn. That's all I got. I think this is all I got. Alright, they didn't have it. Awesome. One step closer to a world Just had to go for it. Okay, Zig's Poppy. Let's see how we do here. We'll start off with Blade Squire into action, the first two rounds. Not a bad start. Finally, some action. Alright, I guess we'll play the 3 1 because it blocks these things. In particular, that thing. Right? Yeah, it does. I do not break rules, I bend them slightly. Slightly. Explosives prime. Good, real good lecturing yordle. Is that all you got? Damn it. And then, if they have Fervor, I have Bloody Business to protect against Fervor. Okay. No Overwhelm, unfortunately. I didn't have that one extra mana, though, to give it Overwhelm. That would have been really nice. One out of four. <laughs> right, Preservarium is going to be number two. Okay, so 
I'll take this back on. We have to block with the action. All right, cool. So we're going down to three. Oh, uh, we still gotta do 14 damage. I really needed like that that one mana for the overwhelm the previous round. Or we need life steal, but we don't have any life steal. Opponent. Okay, so three and two. It's still that's a winning record over Can't in Masters rank. We will take that with Action Riven. It's gonna be a tough matchup for us because we don't have any life steal and we're a little slow and we you know it's hard for us to stop them going wide and everything like that. So that was a good hand that they had and they they won and that's just kind of how it's gonna be for that kind of matchup. But I liked our deck. I liked how you have you know lots of things that can target. You have uh, the ability to make super large units. And with the Lucky Finds, you can even protect them with Spell Shield. Of course, you can also get the plus two, plus two Spell Shield from the Warlord Sword eventually. Um, but yeah, nice little action deck here. It, what, what it's really missing is a way to give them lifesteal, that's for sure. But we'll take, we'll take a 3-2 record for our first of four action decks. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube... Hit that like button, and feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of Action plus the Blade frag Fragments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that combination. We got some different combinations now coming up for Action, so check those out. But uh, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.